It took nearly two years to design and build, and now a new Michigan attraction is taking adventures to unforgettable heights. In tonight's Weekend Journal, Charlie DeMar takes us on a journey to the spectacular sky bridge that's smashing records. For some, it's breathtaking. It really is spectacular. For others, it's gut-wrenching. That made my stomach go a little queasy, not gonna lie. <laughs> The world's largest timber towered suspension bridge just opened at Boyne Mountain in northern Michigan. It sways as glass panels below allow thrill seekers to look straight down more than 115 feet. The glass actually didn't scare me. I kind of I was kind of looking forward to it. The stunning views and turning leaves provide a picture perfect taste of fall in northern Michigan. Each one of the towers has about 110,000 pounds of timber. Todd Domick designed Skybridge, Michigan, which spans nearly a quarter mile. It took about a year to construct. What is it about walking across a bridge that is bringing people here? By their very nature, bridges bring people together, and they have for thousands of years. Most construction companies that do this kind of work are booked out two or three years now. So yeah, it is definitely an uptick. For us, it's, I would say, doubled our revenue. I don't know if that's directly pandemic related, but we suspect it might be. In a post-pandemic world, high-profile attractions like these are becoming increasingly important as people continue to seek out outdoor activities. The amount of people that it could bring together from all walks of life. Jason Pearl is Boyne Mountain's general manager. While skiing is the big attraction at his resort, the bridge, which requires a ski lift to access, should provide another source of year-round revenue. I think. Post pandemic and just in general, there's that desire to be outside, experience nature. Yes, it was a risk perhaps, but I think a highly calculated one that we knew it was gonna be successful, just a matter of how successful. A bridge that has shattered world records has also connected people from all over the country and world to a small town in Northern Michigan. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Boyne Falls, Michigan.